Can you hear the horrible music? There is huge party going on. Somewhere there, there is buildings and there is some some damn party. Go I hate this uh, reggaeton music. Champadapa, champadapa, champadapa. I like reggae, but I hate reggaeton. It's just horrible music. Oh, champadapa, champadapa, champ. Yeah, and here is this sheep herd. Luckily behind the fence and luckily this Mastiff dog is also behind the fence. <laughs> so, yeah, this is just a sand parking here. One kilometer away from the main main road motorway. About 50 kilometers north from Sevilla. And tomorrow tomorrow I will drive to Malaga. Just gonna sleep here and do nothing. I have travel burnout. I have travel burnout. It comes when you travel too much. Like, I don't mean like distance too much, but like constantly going somewhere and like constantly searching for places and constantly exploring things. And it's just over time, it just gets exhausting. It's nice to find new things, learn new things, but Constantly, you know, too much anything is too much. Too much water can kill you. Too much anything can kill you. You know, finding the good balance. And I think I'm not the only one who struggles with, with this kind of uh, thing. I mean, van lifers or motor homers or RVers like this, you are constantly well, fu who, who lives full time? Yeah, first year, first two years, maybe three years. But after that, you, know, you can't just explore and be happy all the time. It's just not possible. And after you've been driving around Europe for a couple of years, seeing many places, then how can you be excited anymore? You've seen hundreds of mountains, hundreds of lakes, hundreds of rivers, hundreds of this and hundreds of that. So then when you see another mountain or lake or something, it's nice, but you're not like excited about it anymore. You are just like, hmm, nice. It's not, there is no, not this wow effect anymore. It's just nice and okay. And you know, that's about it. Like that's, that's the burnout, travel burnout. When you just, you're just not that excited anymore. Just appreciate being stationary for a while. Getting over that travel hangover, you need more and more time to get over that hangover. You know, more and more time stationary. He came to take the herd out, this motorcycle pa. So I took Nilo in. <laughs> what do you think, Nilo?
aquí esta noche? Sí, aquí. Buen sitio. Está bien, está bien. Sí. Tranquilo. Tranquilo, sí. Aquí lo que pasa es que hay veces que se viene ahí un montón de chavales, pero yo creo que estando usted aquí no vendrá. Y forman aquí un jaleo de mierda. Hey, hey. 